Okay, friends. Hi, Doc South here with uh, another tale, uh, a, a, a nice little story about, well, an experience that happened maybe two hours ago at our uh, our local uh, Walmart. Of course, Sandy and I like to call it the closet because, quite honestly, you know, we live in a bungalow overlooks the Muskinet Kong River. Not a, it's a lovely place, and there's there's well, pretty much all the room a couple like us could need, except we don't really have much uh, closet space. Well, it's a bungalow, you know. The um, So we, we refer to the Walmart as our closet. If we need something, you go down to the closet to get it. Okay. You know, like, yeah, uh, if you need, uh, if you need a, a, a few socks, well, they got socks. Very reasonable down there. You need uh, this item or that. Again, chances are you're going to, if you don't find it at the Walmart, well, heaven knows what you're going to do. And it's always reasonably priced. I like the store. I like the people that work there. I like uh, the different customers you run into, you know, your your fellow patrons. And they're, uh, I don't know, I just like the place. To me, it's uh, it's it's recreation to go down there, sort of a busman's holiday. As you know, I work for a, a pleasant enough uh, supermarket, and um, the, the 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 Walmart's just right up my alley. Okay. Again, if uh, if you need uh, gosh, if you need nice writing pens, well, they've got they've got bu buckets of them, and they're always reasonably priced. If you need shoes, yeah, they got shoes, darn good shoes at that. Uh, and and like and and vitamins, sure, go get them. How many do you need? You know they okay. Uh, they have a wall of vitamins. I don't think I've ever seen so many vitamins in all my life. And uh, I can be there sometimes 20 minutes just looking at the vitamins, trying to figure out what one I want. Okay. Well, I wasn't looking for vitamins today. I was looking for uh, stuff for, uh, well, I'm making some spaghetti sauce. I noticed I was low on a few things. So I'm, I'm, I grabbed my little basket there when I walked through the door and I moseyed over to the produce area. I found uh, a lady helped me find some uh, parsley, you know, the parsley that's on the stem. Yeah, and I liked throwing that into spaghetti sauce. Um, gee, I noticed there was a sale on avocados. Um, so I got a couple for uh, for the wife. Sandy really likes them. And uh, luckily there was a lady buying some that pointed out to me what you look for in an avocado, you know, because you evidently you can get a bummer of an, of an avocado. And well, they not really that good to eat. But if you pick the right ones, well, they're delicious. I know when I got home, Sandy snagged one and gorfed it down right away. Uh, so, yeah, evidently hit pay dirt there. I needed, uh, oh, a little of this. I, I noticed they had a bit of a sale on those uh, pre-made ice cream cones you can get. I eat them to, so maybe I can gain some weight. You know, that, yeah, that kind of thing. So I'm poking around. Got one of the 50 cent blueberry pies they have, delicious. I, I don't know how they set, make them for, so they can sell them for 50 cents, but I I guess small markup means big sales. So I don't know. I, I, I grabbed one of them thinking I'd be eating that in the car on my way home. In other words, I like the place. I, I have no gripe. Um, so, uh, so anyway, I, I'm just about got everything done. I'm, I've got the ice cream cones. I'm looking for the Cheez-Its. <laughs> and and uh, all of a sudden, I come around one of the uh, up one of the aisles. You know, I, I kind of I mosey between. Yeah, I do the mosey. Yeah, and there's this lady about. Oh, gee, she couldn't have been but four and a half feet high, if that. If that, she was tiny, and uh, looked like a nice lady. But she's staring. She's standing at at at, at one of the shelves, and she's looking up, and she's. I don't know. She's she's scratching her head, wondering what you know. I could look down on her head. You know, I could see she's scratching. I said, "What's the matter, ma'am? Something on a higher shelf for you there? You you need help?" She says, "Well, yeah, I do." She says, "But boy, I don't know. That's up there." And I said, "Oh my! What did you want?" She says, "Well, I want that big bottle of cooking oil on the top shelf." I said, "Well, God, that's about that. That gosh, that's about eight feet up there. I don't even know if I can make it. Yeah, you know, in fact, it might have been higher." And they got signs up saying, you know, get an associate. But I didn't see any around. They were busy elsewhere. I said, man, I know, ma'am, I, I work for a supermarket, and I know we, 
we take a dim view of people climbing the shelves. But let me see if maybe I can reach. I, I won't climb the shelf, but maybe. Because those shelves can come down. Oh, yeah, don't, don't think they can. Not always, but when they do, you're in trouble. Um, and so I'm reaching. Oh, God, I can't get it. And I said, man, I don't know. Maybe I could boost. No, I wouldn't dare try to boost you up there. But gosh, and then all of a sudden, this big old grin comes over my face. The lady's looking at me. She's wondering, why are you smiling? I said, ma'am, turn around. Help has arrived. And she turns around and here comes a guy down the aisle. Young fella. He must be about seven feet high. Yeah, he's higher. He's well above six foot. I'm thinking seven feet. And he had a big old grin on his face and we stop him. I said, sir. Yeah, he says, yes. Yes, young man. <laughs> or or was it old timer? I think, yeah, he said, oh, old timer. Yeah, what can I do for you? I said, well, this lady here needs to get that cooking oil. And he looks, actually, he kind of looks straight at it. You know, he's saying, what, this oil here? This? He says, yeah, wait a minute. You, you want this one, ma'am? Or this one? No, she said, the one you just, so he just reaches down and hands it to her and says, there you go. And I said, well, there you go. Case closed. And he says, yeah, he said, except I'm, I'm looking for something. He said, I can't find it. He, I said, well, what do you want? Well, he says, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I can tell you too. I'm, I'm looking for septic tank. Uh, uh, you know that stuff you put in your septic tank to keep the microbes in it? I said, yeah, septic tank treatment. He says, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for that. I said, well, I've got some here. I'll show you right. I said, it's down on the lower shelf. They keep it on the lower shelves because it's a powder. And they're always afraid if it were to break loose, people might take a damn view of it pouring all over the canned goods. So they keep it down low. He says, well, that's why I've been missing it. I said, yeah, it's down there. Yeah, it's about a mile away from your eyes. That's down there on the bottom. Tear. Come on. I'll and I found it for him. It was in a different aisle. I said, here you go. I, I, I just reached down and grabbed it. Here, this is what you want. This is the good stuff. He says, yeah, cool. Thank you. I said, well, there you go. Well, I said, one good turn deserves another, right? He says, yes, sir. He says, doggone. So we, we went our way. All of us, all three of us, with big old grins on our face at the uh, at the store uh, today. It was kind of kind of cool how <laughs> a tall guy can help a short person and a short person, well, sometimes can be of service to a tall guy. So anyway, she's got the cooking oil. I've got some great uh, spaghetti sauce cooking. Man, I can hardly wait till supper time. And that guy, well, his, his septic tank ain't going to overflow for a while. So there you go. Ah. Uh, the world is at peace. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I thought I'd say. We'll catch you later, friends. Thank you and God bless.